I just got back from Cape Town. Uh-huh. I know you can tell because I got the Cape Town style. You know, they got the brim, you know, they do the brim hat, you know, they got the jacket, you know. And, uh, you know, I got to, uh, well, actually, I got this from Swaziland a while ago, you know. Mm-hmm. In fact, you know, I, I, I was, um, when I went to Swaziland that time, it was a while ago, I went from Cape Town to the train to Joburg. And uh, I realized that there was some stuff that had been done with telecom, you know, telecom. And so I went to the telecom office and, and, and you know, one of those direct things, whatever it is, and, and you know, standing there in line and, and I was reading a book, because I like reading books, you know. And I was really involved with the books, so I sort of, you know, lost my way. It was empty when I came. Anyway, so the sister comes up to me and, and she says, oh, Mom, you know, may I help you? You know, she's right up. I said, oh, oh, she said, she said you're next in line. And now, this is unusual. I mean, not unusual to maybe the general universe, but it was unusual because I came down. She would have just yelled next or something like that. But she actually walked from behind the counter and came up to me. And so I was wondering, so I finished the business. I said, well, let me ask you, sister, how, you know, how come you, you did that? And she says, well, because I always put myself in the customer's, you know, in the customer's shoes and I would treat them as I want to be treated. And I said, whoa, this is interesting. Because this is not the general thing. I mean, but let me put it this way. The way the reason I went to Cape Town was well, because I had a little thing with home affairs, you know. And um, I had to get some paperwork from home affairs anyway. And and, and then I also since I'm, my permanent residency has been I, I can't tell you how many years. Let's say it's like five years, but that might be exaggerated, maybe only four, but it was a it's a while. And so since I moved going to school here in Alice, I said, Okay, um, is it possible, you know, because you'd have to go all the way to Cape Town to pick up the paperwork, is it possible to get it switched over to, like, well, East London has the home affairs, you know, section. And so the lady over the phone in the call center, because you never can talk to home affairs, they said, well, you got to go to Cape Town and request it from them. So that's one of the reasons I was going to Cape Town. Another reason I was going to Cape Town is because I had a hard drive when I came here, and the hard drive died. You know, so now I had brought to places here, I put places upon the school campus, brought places in East London, in well, King Williamstown, and nobody, everybody said, it's dead, that's it. And I'm going like, well, I didn't drop it. I didn't put it in water. I mean, I'd be watching it. Sometimes I see those, those you know, the NC things, and those TV programs where they get everything, you know. So I'm going like somewhere. So anyway, I get to Cape Town, talk to some people there, and they said, oh, there's a data recovery. I said, really? So they sent me over to Tata Recovery, and they said, well, let's see what we can do, maybe we can do something. But here's the point. If you can't do it here, why can't you just call or look? you got the internet. Say, so Data Recovery, I don't know those terms. I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm an audio dramatist. I ain't no ITWB, whatever it is, person. So you figured they would just, you know, at least call and say, hey, you know, brother, you can send this to, you know, wherever, you know, and, and they can do it for you. But, you see what I'm talking about service delivery. No, it's not service delivery. It's common courtesy. So that's so that's a big problem. But let's get over that. You know, I had an incredible time in Cape Town. Everything was like, let me put it this way, brother. You know how they say that you don't want to be standing next to somebody when lightning strikes. You know what I mean? Of course, you know, it might hit them and then come out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm one of them brothers, when you said this particular point, you want to stand next to me. Because the universe loves me. I'm telling you, this was amazing. So many things, those positive, boom, 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 one right after another just happened. I mean, the worst thing that happened is when I was coming back and my phone dropped and, you know, I got to put in a shot. Now, it also might mean I need a new device. I don't really want to do it. But, but, you, but you see what I'm saying? What I'm trying to say, if you're living a good life, if you're getting in a good momentum, then more than likely, good stuff is going to happen. So, I, I, I would say this, you know, I would say this, if if you can, as a regular, like remember this, we, we're talking Africa now, and Africa, like 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 Magaliso, Robert Sabuque says, it's about humanity, Africa, humanity is one, so you've got to be humane in Africa, if you're not a humane, then you're really not in Africa, or you can't claim to be in Africa, you're someplace else, you might visit, you don't understand what I'm saying, so if we all start being more humane, and thinking, and like as we say, uh, um, you know, as one of my friends in Cape Town, you know, he was saying like, hey, that's because people don't care. 
they don't give a fix leaf, you know? And if, the, if, we, if we have enough people like that sister and Joe Byrne, you know, working to tell them, if we all was like her, you know, a little bit more like her, then, you know, maybe we could have a better, better, better situation. You know, so I, I mean, uh, I'm, I think that would be, you know, but then again, you know, this, this is, this is just me. Uh, you know, that, that would be, uh, you know, the, this is one of those dispatches from the arts director emeritus, so, you know, uh, that would be me, arts director emeritus. T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Mm -hmm.